Hello and welcome to wasedu.com. We're joined by Prudence Freeman. You're going to whack me one for that. Prue Freeman, otherwise known as. Welcome along. Thank you for coming down. Thank you. Nice to be here. Good. Now, Prue is an entrepreneur uh, working um, in now food. Um, so natural yogurt, not natural yogurt, it's um, frozen yogurt and coffee as well. But tell us a little bit about your story, where you started, where you've come from. So I can hear this. That's not an English accent. <laughs> and we'll go from there. Okay. Um, so I've been in the UK for about three years. Um, I moved across here. I uh, was working in finance. I moved across with a company that I was with in, in Sydney. Um, in the last 12 months, I've kind of got, got out of the finance world and, and then moved across to, to set, up, um, set up this business, which basically is um, a mobile um, frozen yogurt business. And I guess the inspiration for that business came from looking at what was happening in the street food scene, particularly in the US. And, and I think in the UK it was really in its infancy. And, and I guess the whole sort of the inspiration around it was, you know, taking something, you know, which in street food in the UK was mainly hamburgers and, you know, ribs and things like that, but actually trying to take something healthy and put it onto the streets as well in a format which wasn't really sort of dirty. So trying to do something really high quality, but then still have the, the excitement of being able to be mobile and getting to sort of different locations around London. Okay, but going back though, you started life as a lawyer. <laughs> why, why the change? Because surely, like, you know, if you're studying in law or something like that, you've got an aim of like getting a maybe a high salary job, you know, you love the thrill of it. But you did that and then you decided to retrain, which is something that was edu.com can help you with. So what, what was the thinking behind that? Well, I didn't quite retrain, but I, uh, I started, uh, I yeah, went through all the study. I did a combined degree, did a commerce law degree. Um, I always wanted to run a business. I think when, you know, when you're at school, you know, I, I, you know, you don't really know, other than the people who are around you, it's very difficult to know what to do. So you go and do a law degree because, you know, it feels like the right thing to do and, and you know, you do okay in, in, I don't know what you guys call it over here, GSEs or whatever it is, but... You know, you do GCSEs. GCSEs. You do well in your GCSEs and you think, what am I going to do? So you pick the logical thing which kind of fits where you fit. You think, I'll do a law degree. Um, I, I've always been a numbers person, so I did a, a commerce degree, a major in finance as well. Um, I didn't ever really think I would be a lawyer, but I thought uh, at that point lawyers got paid like, you know, when I was 15, a lawyer got paid $100 an hour and that, that seemed like a lot of money to me and I thought that sounds quite cool. And that's something that this service, Wazedu, can actually help you with. So just think, you know, those years ago when you were at that stage, imagine how much life could have been easier if you had access to a service like wazedu.com. I think that's right. And I think that the, the most important thing is about having businesses involved and having people who are actually working in these jobs, you know, giving their time to actually not mentor, but just educate people on what they do and, and especially young people and the younger the better, just about, you know, actually what their job is. Because I think there's so many myths. People say, oh, I work in finance, but there's so many different areas you could work in. You could work in markets or you could work in investment banking or, you know, it's, it's so many different things that you just don't know. You know, so it's all kind of this, this world which you think, you know, it sounds really exciting. And, and I, you know, I was fortunate to know one person who worked in the bank and I ended up, he left, he left and I ended up taking a job sort of as, as, as a junior person under him. And I, 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 I knew what he did and I saw how he did it. And that, that's really how I got into finance because I, th I thought his job was so incredibly exciting. Mm. But had I not known him, you know, and if you could have access to someone like that through, through a website, I think it'd be really good. So we've started in um, sort of May, June this year. So we're still kind of in the, the startup phase of, of getting you know, point of sale systems to work and, and employing people and going through all of that, which is, which is all challenging. But um, yeah, it's, 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 really, it's really exciting. I think just being able to have a business where you meet real people every day is probably the, the biggest thing for me, which is why I always wanted to have it. I didn't, I didn't want to be, in, you know, in a world where you were dealing in, in such big amounts of money, where you, you, know, you found it very difficult to come to grips with it, but you know, where you're selling a coffee for two pounds fifty, you know, it, and and you're seeing the same person come every day, and, and you know their name, it's really nice. Mm. It's really, it's a really good thing. Is it just one store, or is there like a quite an aggressive expansion plan for your business? <laughs> World domination, snog. We're going to take you out. <laughs> we're much better than snog. <laughs> oh, claws! <laughs> wow, hang on. <laughs> 
having mobile businesses around London, which we can move. So, you know, for example, we have one which during the summer operated in Liverpool, you know, at the back of Liverpool Street. And then on the weekends, it went across to Spitalfields Market and did the market. And you can do that in a mobile format. So, um, so we've got um, we've got five mobile units. Um, basically around London um, and then we're looking to add a, a fixed store as well a home for all the home for all the, uh, the little daisy greens around town just before we leave this this grand interview of ours um, I want to know if you've got one bit of advice for our viewers out there if they were to remember you for one thing apart from your business <laughs> as a person uh, what would you leave us with what kind of inspiration what thought I think for, for young for young people, you know, about to, to try and choose what their career and what their life's going to be about, I think it's it, it's just speaking to as many people. And I think the one thing which I, I've learned some more and more as, I, as I've kind of gone through my career is everyone likes to talk about themselves and everyone's willing to, to share information. And, you know, if you're going to call up the CEO of the company or write them a letter and tell them you're really interested in working in a bank, you don't know much about it, but could you take five minutes of their time? I think being proactive in, in just getting as much information as you can. Um, is people get nervous about doing things, people don't want to speak to people and say, oh, you know, can you help me? But everyone wants to help people. It's a natural, natural sort of way, way we operate. So I think it's just getting out there and getting as much as you can, you know, and, and, and then bringing it all back and trying to sort of sieve through it and then asking more questions. Ladies and gents, get out there and get what you can is the parting message from Prudence Freeman. Thank you so much for coming down. I wish you all the best. Good luck with everything. <laughs> Thank you.